Oh, hello there! I'm a disembodied voice, and I'm here today to tell you more about Splatoon 4, the up-and-coming release that is a sequel to Splatoon 3 for the Nintendo Switch family of systems. We're not yet ready to show you footage from Splatoon 4, so you'll have to contain your excitement a little while longer. However, we believe we can show you plenty of our plans, even from this game. Let's go! We've decided to bring back League Battle instead of Anarchy Battle Open, as requested by many players. As this is Splatoon 4, we've decided to give you the Quad Squad Scrap, which operates the same as classic Splatoon 2 League, but with a twist. If your team wins four games in a row, you will double your earnings that you get from that play session. But lose four games before that happens, and all of your rewards will be retroactively taken away from you. And don't think you'll be spending that money before you finish your session. Um, you won't be able to leave until you finish your scrap. But don't worry, if your console shuts down or your internet goes out, you'll be reassigned to a new, random group of players when you log back in. Since these matches function the same as a regular ranked match, no one will even know they've got a lost quad squad scrap player on their team. We understand the burden that comes along with waiting for the perfect salmon run rotation, especially those that include Grizzco weapons. This is why we've decided to go out of our way to allow you, the player, to experience Grizzco weapons specifically at midnight your time. Stay up late and give yourself a late night treat with the Grizzco Roller, the Grizzco Slosher, the Grizzco Charger, and many, many more. We're finally adding day and night cycles to these games. No longer will you look up at that blue sky and see it bright and shining at, well, midnight when you're going for those Grizzco weapons. However, they'll be locked to an approximate time based on the region your copy of Splatoon 4 is from, so... Don't go buying an Australian copy of the game to play it sooner if you live in America, or, well, you'll see for yourself. Our team is proud to present Splatoon Floor, the brand new mode coming to Splatoon 4. Showing off this mode on a Splatoon 3 build doesn't really let us show you exactly what's going on, but we'll do our very best. Splatoon Floor is very simple. We want to include an emphasis on the importance of painting the floor. Whether it's Turf War, Splat Zones, Turbine Tower, Rainmaker, or Clam Blitz, your Inkling and Octoling will not be able to leave the ground. What does this mean? Well, Painting the floor will be more important than ever. This also means the fights that you take truly could be live or die. Of course, your cephalopod can still swim, but you cannot jump. This is, after all, Splatoon floor. The only exception to this rule will be when your inkling or octoling approaches a wall. This is the only time we will allow you to go vertically up or down any location. How will you fight? How will your strategies change? Your Rainmaker carrier can take the Rainmaker, but they can't jump up the podium. Just swim up the podium. With an emphasis on paintable walls, we assure you that Splatoon Floor will be well worth your wait. We've decided to reuse the concept of the lobby in Splatoon 4. After all, isn't it so beautiful? Some players have become a little too mindful of the fact that there's a number missing on these stairs. But don't you worry. In the next game, we'll make sure that sometimes when you come into the lobby, you'll see only the odd numbers. And other times, when you arrive in the lobby, you'll see only the even ones. Therefore, you'll always have a nice, exact, set up experience. There is now a 1 in 4 chance your match will have a random attribute added to it. Do you think you can find them all? Here's a few of our favorites. Bounce House is exactly what it sounds like. You and all your other teammates and opponents suddenly won't be able to stop bouncing up and down. Whee! Whether you're in swim form or kid form, you will always be visible. But don't worry, it's not like the Charger players are immune to it either. Slow Ride cuts all your movement speeds in half. It's great for newer players, but uh, it's great for newer players who might want to practice their aim. And it's great for professional players who really want to make sure their opponents aren't going to be able to react as quickly to their quad zooka. 
Oh, and we can't forget about Tower Controlled. This one is just for Turbine Tower. If you get this mode, you'll be able to push the Turbine Tower anywhere, not just on its usual path. This means some sneaky squids could try to push it deep into a corner to try and stall out the match. Don't let this happen to you. Watch that turbine tower. Players have always complained about the tentacle collision physics in Splatoon 1, Splatoon 2, and Splatoon 3. So we've decided to fix this in a brand new way. Watch this. Now anytime you bump into an opponent, you'll be instantly knocked down. So will your opponent. Land an enemy ink and you'll be temporarily knocked out. Now there's more reason than ever to be extra careful in your fights because you'll lose precious time and possibly get splatted. This will be extra tricky to deal with in professional level matches. You and your opponent's team could lose access to vital specials at just the wrong moment. If someone calls out the fact you've fallen over, you might as well just get splatted already. That's why we've gone ahead and finally given a purpose to clicking in the left stick after all of these years. Listen to what this does right now. Nothing. Nothing but swap this little menu in the corner, come on. Stuck in a bad spot and want to get out faster than opening your map and going back to base? The trick respawn button is here. Explode in a lightly damaging burst of your own ink. A big improvement from getting splatted regularly, we dare say. Wait out the respawn timer and boom, you'll be back at your own spawn. You'll still lose special meter, of course, so don't use it too often. There are few things that we know you take seriously more than your weapons. When you open up your weapon information screen at this time, currently there really isn't that much information you get to see. You can see your freshness counter, and that's truly it. However, we've decided in the future to make it more clear than ever when you're doing well with a weapon. When you open up your menu, you'll be able to see not only the number of times you, the player, have won, but also how many times you, the player, have lost. We believe this will help our player base to push themselves to their limits to learn, grow, and become better players in Splatoon 4. We know that in the heat of battle, sometimes you might not realize a Splatoon 4 match is in overtime, especially now with that emphasis on fights. We've gone ahead and added a big red blinking filter over the match, so you know for sure that the match is coming to a close soon. Use this to inspire yourself to really push ahead. Players wanted more collectibles in the game, so we decided to upgrade the jukebox to only display songs that you personally heard in game. Missing a song? Open up a private battle and you can hear it from your friend's jukebox. But you'll only be able to use it in private battles. Your personal lobby will always consist of songs that you've listened to. Enough players over the years have expressed deep disinterest for map rotations because it limits when they can play their favorites. To remedy this, Splatoon 4 is proud to be the first Splatoon game with no map rotations whatsoever. Every time you play a match, Turf War, Floor Fight, regular old ranked, or Quad Squad Scrap, any map can possibly show up. It's all random. Of course, we'll still limit which mode will appear when you play a ranked match. For now, at least. Watch for update 4.0.0 when we'll remove it if enough players ask. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of ideas that maybe should not actually go into Splatoon 4. We look forward to seeing you in the future in Splatoon 4 on the Nintendo Switch family of systems. Have a lovely day.